Hey, y'all know why this is important? Why? Because Dolores Huerta and Cesar Chavez were some of the greatest people in our country. They did a very good job for helping farmers. How you summarize it is they gave people stuff that they needed. Yeah, and also the march was like the, the boycott because they stopped buying the grapes from the farmers. Because a lot of people in her days didn't go to college, a lot of girls didn't, and she was one of them that went to college. Do y'all know something that Dolores Vesta always said? Si sí, se puede! Always remind yourself that. Last year, the Fulworth ISD Board of Education voted to set aside a class holiday each year to honor the lives and legacies of Cesar E. Chavez and Dolores E. Fuerta, who devoted their lives to winning civil rights for farm workers and others across the country. It's not so much a day off for students, but a day for them to be of service to their community, their neighborhood, or just helping out at home. The students at Fulworth ISD's Dolores Huerta Elementary School know all about these two real life heroes and they want to make sure others know about them too. In New Mexico, there lived a little girl named Dolores who talked so fast. Her grandfather said, Dolores, you must have seven tongues. Seven tongues? I would talk so fast. Many miles away in Arizona, there lived a little boy named Cesar, who was a very good listener. Cesar listened to his mother cry when his family lost its home, and they had to become migrant farmers. When Dolores was a little girl, she moved to California with her mother and brothers. She joined the Girl Scouts and worked to raise money for soldiers fighting in World War II. Cesar's family moved to California to follow the crops and work in the fields. Although he had to drop out of school to work, Cesar always had a book under his arm. That meant that he loved to read. Dolores grew up and became a teacher. She saw the farm worker children come to school too hungry to learn as well as they could. When Cesar grew up, he and his friends were hurt by dangerous tools that mean bosses who sprayed the plants with poisons that made the farm workers sick. Then Dolores and Cesar met and decided to work side by side. They invited farm workers to join the cause for justice. Cesar led men, women, and children on a 340-mile march to demand the workers to get paid enough to live on. Dolores gave an amazing speech, and the Grower signed a contract with the workers, giving them better pay for their hard work. It was time for the farm workers to share in their harvest. Though they each had a large family, little food, and no money, they always looked for ways to make the world a better place. If you don't help the farm workers, Cesar asked Dolores, who will? When their bosses bullied them, the workers used to say, we can't do it. With the help of Dolores, they began to chant, si se puede, we can do it. For 30 years, Dolores and Cesar worked and listened and talked and marched side by side. Dolores and Cesar had many victories because they knew that together all things were possible. In 1993, Cesar passed away and Dolores and the farm workers marched to honor him. Dolores still works and marches for justice for the poor and she is not alone. The spirit of Cesar Chavez is by her side. Si sí se puede! We can all accomplish so much more when we work side by side. So remember that as we serve and celebrate on Cesar Chavez and Dolores Huerta Day. Have a piñata, that's a good way. No, let's just put si se puede on the cake. Yeah, we can make it. it a three layer cake. I think that would be a great idea. We can ask Mr. Brown if we can borrow his truck. He can be driving it and then we can put like a banner on the doors that says si se puede. Raise your hand if you want the truck thing. We can create a in the moment. We can Raise your hand if you want a piñata. Yay! Come on guys, let's go to class. Good job. Good job. Oh, I have another idea. 